But what is going on everybody it is your boy sunny here back at it again with another never went your news video by the title and thumbnail you know why i clicked on but we have a jam-packed episode today so we're not going to do too much rambling on let's just jump straight into it right off the bat we have the siege of neverwinter from august the 13th to september 3rd now this is an event in neverwinter that has come around um as, as far back as I can remember. Now, unfortunately, there will be some changes in the foreseeable future to this. It was per, um, announced on the roadmap. So I'm pretty excited because as it stands right now, guys, all these rewards have been rewards in this event from, you know, the years ago. You know what I mean? Besides maybe the Siege Breaker Griffin might be one of the newer ones, but even then, it's really not that new. But if you don't have it i recommend getting it in my opinion it's a pretty cool um, mount and it's an epic variation now i don't remember what the stats are off the top of my head and i do apologize maybe i could put it up on the screen if i remember to just to let you guys know what it is and maybe you want to go after it yourself we have the never waker siege breakers charger nothing too crazy here just a rare kind of mount in my opinion not one of my favorite um skins but nonetheless it's not bad we have the Siege Breaker banner. We have the, of course, the Charger, the Defenders pack, and the Scavengers pack. And of course, as always, the two event companions, the Battlefield Medic and the Never Ember Guard Archer, as well as the fashion end of the spectrum coming in with the Battlefield Medic outfit and as well as the Injured outfit. Now we do also have the Veteran and Dragon Slayer die pack. Two die packs that I personally think are they're all right they're not bad um and you only need one die pack and just convert it right into your library and you're good to go that's the nice thing anymore is that you don't need to keep um multiple die packs you just need to have one of it and then convert it into the fashion same thing with all this fashion gear here all you need is just one piece um the companions nothing really too crazy here in my opinion they're not really that sought after as much anymore in terms of astral diamonds though guys this is not an event where you're going to be making money off of it if anything majority of this stuff does come down to either the character or the account if i can remember correctly especially the mounts and everything like that so if you're looking for any kind of ad from this event you might want to stay away from it if you already have other rewards there's really no point in doing it in my opinion not until it gets updated Moving on, we do have two times maze engine campaign currency. Now, this is pretty nice because your boy Sonny actually needs this. Plus, I enjoy the Underdark Zone just due to the fact of there is a store in there that allows you to buy some really nice pieces of fashion equipment as well as weapon transmutes that I think are really nice. So, in terms of that, um, not a bad steal there. Moving on to the next part, we have two times refining stones and bonus rp now this is hands down one of my favorite events within the game of neverwinter i have plenty of videos on the channel discussing this event in particular and how to farm it uh, just to name a couple off the top of my head though dread ring you want to farm codg lom tom you know anything where you can kind of get the enchant stones rank six at a fairly quick rate is where your money's at now, of course, Red Ring, you get the rank fours or five, I believe, so you don't get the rank six necessarily. But anything pretty much you open is going to give you two times refining stones. The bonus RP, as I always say, guys, don't spend your money in the Wondrous Bazaar um, buying the bonus to this. It's not worth it at all. If you really need the refinement that bad, just go in the auction house and go buy yourself some Blood Rubies or Black Opals. Uh, moving on. We have the refinement pack and cohort bundle. Now this comes around every so often within the game of Neverwinter. In my personal opinion, I cannot remember the price off the top of my head. But if it's anything over a thousand, I'm gonna put it up on the screen. I would just skip it in all honesty, even with double um refinement, you know, two times refinement going on, it's still not worth it. The coalescent anymore, in my opinion, even though it's only a thousand zen, its value is a little bit lower. You know, the way they have the system set up now is eventually you're going to get your upgrade to progress. And I believe the most amount of preservation wards is like 175 or 150 you can spend on something. So even then, you know, there's that chance where you might not get it to go in a hundred preservation wards. But in the grand scheme of it all, and you know, from all my testing, I've always just use the preservation wards and in the long run save more than buying coalescent wards every time i needed one and then last but not least we have 15 percent off refinement this is just leading right into what i was talking about before if you need your preservation wards go ahead and stack up on these these are uh, you know you're not going to get 
a much better sale than this. Now there is a 20% off sale that you can get from the uh, prayer bags, but it's all RNG based and it's not guaranteed that you'll get the coupon that you want. But with, at least with this, you'll get 15% off the rip. If you do manage to pull that 20% off, then obviously it's way better than 15. But for what it's worth, um, like I said, I would stay away from the refinement packs. They're not worth it. And even coalesce and wards anymore, guys. They're a little bit less valued in my opinion. You're better off just buying preservation wards and just trying your luck through that way. But guys, that is going to be it for this Neverwinter News video. If you made it this far, make sure you hit that like and up subscribe if you're new around here. As always, though, it has been your boy Sunny, and I'll check y'all on the next adventure. Peace out.